This one, this one is a classic. Hello and welcome everybody to build block part 2, single motor setup. Let's just start with what we need. And of course we need a bigger ESC and a bigger motor. 40 amps ESC and 28, 14, 1100 kV sign these guys need some screws to hold on to something. So I picked these 1 cm screws for the motor and I connected the carbon plate to the motor and of course last part of the chain is of course the ESC which simply has an XT60 connector. Ah yeah and the prop. A brutal ripping 9x8 inch APC prop from Grabner. Ah! Final best ingredients, coffee! And I guess that's almost it. Mounting the motor then again is a bit of a hassle because the plates to mount on are a bit oh, fuzzy, thin, oh, not changeable. No, it's fuzz, just away with it. Don't take it. Do it yourself. Take plywood. I went for this size and uh, made some considerations how to manage to do the shape, painted it and drilled it. Yeah, twice. But I don't know which one to take, let me see, let me see. Mm -mm. Yeah, this one. I simply outlined the carbon plate on the plywood. Yeah, there's some difference. And of course it's a bit of a work. You'll have to drill out the holes for the screws here, like so, to make it fit, perfectly fit. You see the holes on the sides of the plate? These holes are made for the screws to hold on to the carbon plate, so it's interchangeable, updatable, maintainable. And while I talk about holes, we need to fix that on the fuselage as well. Make some holes for the screws and the shaft. Check if the plywood and the fuselage fits together. And then prepare to sand, because we want to glue this in a second. I took Uhu Poor for this, there's nothing better than Uhu Poor. Both parts need to be covered in glue and take some time to cure or to work and then you can attach it. After about 5 minutes the magic moment happens. Let's attach the plate to the body. And don't forget to push on tight. Give it some time after that, let it cure, harden and simply do its job. Well, let's put the motor on the motor mount, shall we? Just put it on, grab some screws, double check, and just screw it in. Good job! By now you should have a nice Harrier with a triple engine. Uh, no wait, we have to remove those of course. We need to put the ESC into the little hole there. And as my ESC seems to be pretty big, it could be a bit of a problem, but this time I'm lucky. Now route the XT60 connector into the fuselage. Same goes for the signal wires, of course. Then we have to connect the bullet connectors and then stuff it up together. Close the hatch and we're done here. Easy, ain't it? Final task, disconnect the twin engine setup from the connector and put on the signal motor drive. You're done. That's it for this time. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. And meanwhile, we got some cool videos for you you might not have seen yet.